Hey guys, so, um, yeah, so I'm here to talk about my Elmo building process. Now, the Elmo building process I went through was very, very treacherous, and, um, it was a lot of fun to build him, though, however, um, you know, as you can see, this is the real Elmo here in this picture, but, um, here's Elmo with his body foam, um, you know, he's, he was just super cute to build, this is the inside of Elmo. And, um, as I kept building Elmo, I kept noticing little things like how the face is trimmed and such. So I really tried to, you know, as you see, keep seeing these pictures and videos, um, I really tried to keep him as close to the real Elmo as I could, small-wise and look-wise. Um, his body and his neck were a little weird until I trimmed it and everything, um, as you can see. But, you know, it was super still fun, um getting to build him, and this is the first time I ever tried velvet eyes on him, I believe. Um, this is a small pair, just to see how they look, and they really looked a lot better than using the uh, super thick eyeballs, um, pupils. I used to use, um, like, the bottom felt chair thingies. Uh, here's Elmo and Bert that I'm building. Um, Bert's still not finished, <laughs> but um, here's Elmo again, super cute. But, um, yeah, uh, this process has been really fun. I really built it more based off the, Ke the Elmo Kevin used, um, how small it was and fun and cute. Um, as you can see, this was like sort of like a mock-up hand there. This is Elmo when it was Christmas time. It was a little weird sometimes, you know. Um, but, yeah, this is all the tools I used for Elmo building him. This is Elmo uh, from a picture I got. I had to do a lot of research before I went into this build and while I was still building him. Um, it took a long, long, long time to actually get somewhere, so. I'm really liking the shape of him. Um, he really looks like the real Elmo, and it's, it's just crazy how much. Uh... When you put your time into somebody, they turn out the way you want. <laughs> and that's uh, exactly what's happening here, folks. I have the real Elmo! <laughs> Now, that was a really cool video I got to do, um, just as a test. This is a, me and Elmo picture. This is actually a, a Elmo, a friend built, uh, that I took a picture of for reference and stuff. This is a time lapse of me sewing the legs and the feet. I did it differently this time, though, however. Um, I didn't do it the same as I always do. I usually make it in a few different pieces, but this one I made it in one piece. Um, which, I actually, I like this way. It was a lot quicker than... Um, what I did before, so, you know, it was a lot different than before, so yeah, tee -hee. this is, I believe, still sewing the legs and feet, <laughs> um, I did a lot of work, and actually in between that, when you see me stop, the pin snapped, it snapped in half and I had to re-sew it. So that's why you can still see that one foot there because I accidentally snapped the pin in half and I was going to get a picture, but I didn't. So, but that was fun. I don't like when pins snap in half. You know, Mrs. Elmo again. Man, I 
if someone could count how many times I've actually said Elmo in this video, that'd be nice. Elmo, 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 Elmo. This is Kevin Clash and Elmo, one of my favorite photos. Um, he's also one of my favorite performers of Elmo. Sorry, Ryan. <laughs> um, this is that picture actually was actually a very helpful. This is actually uh, how people make beads in the arms for monsters. This is a picture of uh, another pu puppet uh, someone built by the name of Jared Boucher. Uh, he's a great puppet builder. Everybody loves his character, so I used some of his photos for reference. <clears throat> this is actually me drilling the eyes right there. See, this is our, those are the new 50 millimeter eyes I used for him when they finally came in. Um, cause I stopped being lazy and finally started to work on him more once the eyes came in. <laughs> and these two little metal poles you see in his head are actually not the screws, but those were just, those were just to hold the place of the eyeballs for now. Um, until I could, they were done painting and I just spray painted the eyes. It wasn't anything special. I don't use any special paint. It's just white spray paint. So these are the velvet eyes. These were the small pair, um, before I changed it to a little bigger pupils um you know trying to make them better yeah you can see how really small they are compared and here's a picture of the new eye pupils versus the old ones on him um but yeah this is almost here too this is like a small test video i did just to see how his new eyes looked um you can see how he had all the same stuff Really, it was pretty cool um, to get to perform him and have him in the studio and stuff. So, you know, yeah. Now, um, this photo here is actually uh, something Jared sent to me to help me build Elmo's arms. Um, as you can see here, I did this. I used the same technique and put beads on his arms. And uh, it worked really well. So the beads go inside the arm, and blah 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 blah. You know. So hey guys, um, I'm working on Elmo still. Uh, he's that scene right beside me, but uh, you guys can see I have the rod here, um, and there's actually beads connected to the arm that go inside of Elmo's arm. So uh, yeah, this is Elmo's first arm in hand. You can see how it's all trimmed. Uh, nice and furry, of course. It's a little trim, more trim there. The arm will get trimmed eventually um, to make it look more slender. Um, but yeah, his hand is looking really good right now. So I thought I'd show you guys. So we're almost out right now. He's really looking cute. Uh, he's got one arm sewn on right now. You can see his hand here. It's looking cute. Matches up with his nose. So um, yeah, next step is his other arm to be finished. And uh, Elmo will be done. So hey YouTube, uh, today is Friday, it's been a long time, it's been a long time, and uh, last night I finished up Elmo's arm, uh, the first arm and the hand, and I uh, sewed up the rest of the arm and the hand and put the foam in it, so he has that attached to him, he has one arm attached. I have the other arm here, which is, um, this is his foam hand and a line of beads that go in his arm. This is actually contact cemented in there, so it's not going to come out, uh, but this is in there. This is what goes in his arm to make it all sort of wibbly wobbly. So, uh, this is a great technique for any puppet builders. So I'll probably do a video on that in the future. But this is his hand and arm. You can see how skinny it really is. And then once we turn it inside out, it won't look as skinny anymore. Um, really, it won't. Um, it'll look actually a little thicker. But um, this is his hand. You can see how uh, it's still smaller. Like this one here that I have on him right now. Uh, it's. Let me just pull him over here for a second, real quick. You can see how his hand's still smaller than mine. 
I'm gonna do a small time lapse of me turning this inside out. We'll put the foam and the beads in there and uh, we'll sew it up, sew it to his body and he'll be finished. Woo, let's go. part is always turning the arms inside out because they're so skinny um, but you know they always turn out fine either way so I don't ever have trouble with them but this is his hand right now hand in which is this so this goes in here so it looks like that like that so um, what I'm gonna do is we have a string here I made it extra long so I can cut it off when I need it uh, what you need to do is uh, take it here now this arm is really skinny so it works really well with this string so what you can do is take it and uh, I'm gonna now because the only thing I didn't do it when I made the first arm and that was my mistake I didn't do it because the first arm was a big mistake but I didn't do it the first time so you just shove the string down and almost arm here and the arm didn't keep falling that'd be great beads in his arms so you know it works really well um so then what you're gonna need to do is put the foam hand in now this is the fun fun part if i didn't mention this part was fun before oh my goodness this is fun uh, this part is probably the most treacherous part of building elmo um <laughs> you know it really is because building elmo is so much fun but then his hands can be a total bleep sometimes it's so much work um i don't like it at all but you know some people do i don't um Sometimes, if it's not built right, you can have issues. So, I tend to stay away from problems that can really occur in Elmo. So, you know, I just tend to try to stay away from them. Um, they can't always pull it off, but most of the time, uh, I can't.
Okay, so uh, now we have the arm uh, all sewn up. We have the foam hand in there, and we have the beads in the arms. And uh, I also cut off a good chunk of the rope that was off the arm, because we're not going to need this. So, um, But as you can see in here now, you have the rope in there with the beads. You can see a wooden bead in there and there. Yeah, there you go. You can see how it's in there. Like that, you know. So, um, next thing we're going to need to do is uh, glue this rope in there. I'm going to use hot glue and just um, glue the ball like that at the end, sort of, and then sew it, sew the arm to the body, and um, we should be good. Because then he'll have two arms and he'll be finished, and I'm really liking how he's looking right now, so... Uh, I'm rather fast! <laughs> oh, hi everybody! <laughs> uh, it's I'm a, I'm a one that says, I'm a fast! <laughs> I'm a, this, so glad I'm gonna get to spend time with you guys. Thank you all for turning along and um,